Hi friends, how are you doing today? I'm gonna to read The Very Greedy Bee today. The Very Greedy Bee. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive, but the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. Slurp, slurp, burp. Slurp, slurp, burp. The greedy bee wouldn't share this nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybug sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he shouted. This one is mine. Mine! He's not being very nice, friends. And when one day the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen, he decided not to tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers, and they're all for me. Wow. I think he's being very greedy. What do you think, friends? The greedy bee whizzed and bizzed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. At last, his tummy was full, and he settled down on a big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and fell fast asleep. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so rolly and poly that biff bang thump he went down instead of up and crashed biff bang thump to the ground not right now baby i'm scared cried the greedy bee and i don't know how to get home then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass he cried, a monster is coming to eat me. Uh-oh. He looks scared, friends. Do you think that's a monster? But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies, their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong, they asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee. And I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, said the fireflies, and they all set off on the long, long journey home. Oh, he looks very sad. But it's very nice of the fireflies to help him, right, friends? Through forests of flowers and squishy mud, over the hills and under the stars, trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far, and he was very tired. Nearly there, called the fireflies. Then they heard the whoosh of rushing water. Uh, Mommy! Evie! <laughs> I'm almost home, cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's the stream, and it was but, and it was, but his hive was on the other side. Oh no, said the greedy bee, sadly flopping down on the grass. How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said a tiny ant with a big leaf. Oh, look, the ants are even going to help him. Isn't that so kind, friends? Just like when we help our friends in class. The ant and his friends flipped the big leaf into the water. Jump on, they cried. Help by the... Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splishing and splashing to the other side of the stream. Hooray, I'm home, cheered the greedy bee. 
Where have you been? asked the other bees. I overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would never have made it home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. Now I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Yes, said the other bees. Let's have a party. That's nice of the greedy bee, right guys? He's sharing the honey. Everyone enjoyed a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, very happy, but not so greedy, B. The end. I hope you enjoyed our book. And remember, being greedy isn't so nice. Let's be kind to our friends and all of our family and be there for people. Because that's important right now. All right? Bye-bye now.